Well, we spent three days now on public buses all day. We had one night on the journey with some sort of very different accommodation. So our bus doesn't leave until 4.30 in the morning and we have some friends who have kindly hooked us up with some very luxury bus station accommodation here. So this is where we're gonna be snoozing tonight. That's right. Just here with <laughs> their homies here. <laughs> but we're here now, we are in Finale, finally, finally. I am made to be free. The hill station of Manali, split into two parts, old and new, is a major backpacking hub in northern India. Known as the adventure capital of India, this city is a prime spot for paragliding, mountain biking, river rafting, skiing and snowboarding. If that's not your thing, it's just as easy to find a cafe to spend the day drinking coffee down by the river. Manali feels like the love child between the hill station Shimla and the hippie-centric Rishikesh. With a vibe split right down the middle, the city is cool in temperature and tucked away among the mountain forests, and is full to the brim of shops selling bongs, pipes, glow-in-the-dark Alice in Wonderland blankets, dream catchers, and banana Nutella pancakes. You can also dabble in the locally made fruit wines, which we may have done once or twice. The slow vibe here lent to our very relaxed time in this city. We spent nearly a week here, discovering places both inside and outside of the town, but mostly doing nothing. It was nice exploring the streets of Old Manali, where you can find a few temples hidden away. Most notably, the ancient cave temple of Hadimba Devi can be found up in a hilltop park, adorned with sheep horns and deer antlers. In 1553, it was built around a massive rock jutting out of the ground that was worshipped as an image of the deity. Within the city, there's a large nature conservation park with kilometers of pathway winding through a tall pine forest along a river littered with boulders and featuring an information center on the ecology of the region and a pheasantry. We had our own little guide tag along while we meandered our way through. As we venture now further into the forest with a little dog friend here, it's, it does start to feel more and more like foresty, um, which is really nice. Like, look at that. There is garbage everywhere. There's a lot of garbage. Uh, you get like little sections where it's not garbage. Um, yeah, it's sort of a nice little refuge here in the middle. It's apparently also like essentially a pheasant zoo. It's just kind of neat. Look, there's one right now, right there. Wow. This is sort of a neat surprise. Another particularly unique find in the city was the clubhouse, or more accurately described, the rundown vacant fun park featuring cheap games and lackluster amusement rides. A fun place to walk around in. Worth the 50 cent admission, but nothing inside is worth its price tag. We're at the clubhouse now, which is the amusement park. Best amusement thing. park in Manali. Yeah, definitely the best one in Manali, by far. Best one we've seen probably in a month. Um, sort of bizarre, sort of weird. What the hell? It's like old and like run down but it's just like it's like there's a like go-kart five laps in the go-kart is like twelve dollars it's like it's crazy it's nuts and that pretty much describes the whole place uh yeah so we did a lap and then we're sort of a weird find cost us 10 25 rupees each to get it, 50 cents to get in worth worth the price of admission <laughs> at least just come there's a ring game that costs like 200 rupees and one of the prizes was like 20 rupees it's bizarre it's bizarro land here just outside Manali, there are a couple of small villages where you can find a number of waterfalls and hiking trails. We used the opportunity to check out the nicest looking falls that we could see from Manali. After getting a little turned around just north of the city, we made our way through the hills to Goshal and across the river to the base of one of the falls, a worthwhile adventure.
Otherwise, our time in the city was spent in cafes and restaurants, trying the highly recommended local favorites and checking out the recommendations from our lonely planet. We decided to indulge as well, trying a couple places outside of our normally low budget. We both enjoyed our relaxing time in Manali, and with only two more stops on our tour of India, we were both excited and sad to leave yet another place behind us.